there are many words and verbs on the board, okay? I want you to take a piece of paper and make two columns. One column is for positive things, and one column is for negative things. All of these words are related to money. Some of them are positive, and some of them are negative, okay? Some can be both, depending on your point of view, okay? So make two columns, positive and negative, and write all of these in one or two or both. Do you know a mortgage? Is you think it's positive or negative? Positive. Thing is positive because it permits you to to buy a house. When you get your mortgage, you buy a house. So it's sometimes the only way to buy a house. They attach to a city and a world. You have more affair to, to change mm -hmm. the world because you have to pay mm -hmm. a mortgage. Mm -hmm. So it's, it depends, right? It depends. So you can put it in both mortgage. Ah, to be cheap. So to be cheap for an object, you know, right? It's the opposite of expensive. So for example, this skirt was cheap, not very expensive. But a person can also be cheap. So a cheap person is a person who never pays. So if we go out and we go to have some beers, and I pay one time, and then you pay the next time, and you pay the next time, but one person never pays, never, 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 that person is cheap. It's a negative thing to be cheap. Mm -hmm. Somebody who always saves their money, they never spend, they always save. It's a mortgage is a big loan for a house. Big loan for a house, a mortgage, mortgage. Positive or negative? Negative, why, why? I know, but you have to share, you have to share with them. Uh, because you have a uh, to spend all your life paying for a house. You have to spend all your life paying for a house. That's true, yeah? You need to know this vocabulary for the next activity, okay? So we are going to divide into three groups now, okay? So I want you to say number one. Can you say one? One. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Can you say? Two. Ah, good. Can you say? Three. Good. And can you say? One. Uh-huh. Two. Uh-huh. Three. Uh-huh. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Good. Okay. So now you have a group. You have a group. So I want you to stand up, and I want all of the ones to sit here, and you must sit across from another person. Okay? So one person here, one person there. Okay? So the group of ones here, uh, the group of twos here, and the group of threes here. We are going to work with some dialogues. So two people practicing speaking dialogues, okay? I am going to give you the dialogues, and there are three locations, three situations. You are at the bank. You are at home. You are at the lottery stand. The lottery stand, buying lottery tickets, okay? Okay, so you, you will look at the dialogue and you will read roll A and you will read roll B one time and then you will switch, okay? And you will read roll B and you will read roll A. If you understand the dialogue well, if you feel you understand the dialogue well, the next time you turn it over so you cannot see the words and you try to improvise the same dialogue without looking at the paper, okay? 
for the third time with no paper. Okay? Can can you explain the directions? <laughs> No. <laughs> no? It's too complicated? Can, can anybody explain the directions? Can you try? Oh. <laughs> it's a little difficult, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first time, what? You read roll A, and she reads roll B, and then you switch, exactly. And you read roll B, and you read roll A. And the third time, what? Uh huh. Uh huh. You improvise. You improvise. So you take the paper and you turn it over, so you cannot see, and you improvise. Okay. Okay. Without the paper. Without the paper. Exactly. <coughs>